All right, welcome over. I'm glad you showed up. This is what it all looks like when you first come in the entryway. I love the vaulted ceilings, how it's all arched. I don't necessarily love these pillars, but I absolutely love the lower house payment. So today I'm kind of revealing all of my secrets, giving you guys a house tour. We've been vlogging on YouTube since 2009, gone through so many life and family changes. It's kind of crazy to keep up from having all three of our kids to having them go from diapers to now Gage is working at a bank. Luke is working at a restaurant and doing sales at another place as well. Kyle's in public school and playing football and everybody's grown up and now I moved out into the country. Our marriage kind of fell apart and now I'm on my own out here trying to live as authentically as possible. Well, let me show you around the place and kind of what I'm up to. These are all actually things that I've collected from travels around the world. That's my grandma and my grandpa who passed away. But these are really cool seashells and stuff from snorkeling and from adventures. This is actually an American flag from a relative of mine that was uh, killed during the Vietnam War. And so I keep that on display as well. Leela, do you love just sitting there looking out the window? Look at this view that I have. So Leela likes to sit up here on the back of the couch and she looks out the window at this view of the mountains and I can't blame her because it's absolutely gorgeous out there. I wanna get out of debt, I want total freedom, I wanna be able to live the life that I want. This is Gage's room here, like look how awesome it is. We all have everything that we want out here and it's perfect. Across the hallway is uh, Luke and Kyle's new bedroom. They're just moving in here, typical teenager room, right? But Luke is actually uh, working at a restaurant and doing sales and Kyle is in public school this year and playing football and doing awesome just the other day he got an interception and and during two games he's caught like five passes so he's doing really good and having fun at sports gotta have the gaming consoles we got xbox playstation we got nintendo switch in here somewhere oh there's the switch i have a couple of guitars this is actually kyle's guitar i've got an electric guitar and amp and then i recently got an old school record player and some cool albums i don't have very many i've got the pink floyd ozzy osbourne Rage Against the Machine, Notorious B.I.G. I think that's all I've got right now. I'm gonna have to expand my record collection. While you guys are checking out the dining room and the kitchen here, this is my new area. Notice I've got all the cool color changing lights everywhere. I love it. I can customize and set it up. It's such a simple floor plan. Everything is wide open. See, so when I walk in here from the kitchen, it all loops around, goes right down the hallway here, all the way down to my bedroom and the garage and everything, the open floor plan, it's perfect for me. It's all part of my never ending quest to try and get completely out of debt, to live completely free from uh, all the trappings of society and everything that usually imprisons you. I'm just trying to work from home, set my kids up that way as well. So let me show you how I'm trying to do it all here myself. Since the beginning, uh, other than doing it as a family, I've been doing YouTube basically solo. A lot of film crews, they have cameramen, sound guys, or YouTubers work as an entire team. We've always just kind of done it as a family. And now, since going through the divorce and going through all of that and trying to recover from those unexpected changes, now I'm out here on my own hustling and it just feels like I'm doing this entire solo show trying to uh, figure it out. So I thought I would update you guys. This is my laundry room. We used to vlog and share our entire life. It used to be fam family. And now I'm out in this new place going through so many changes. You guys wanna see my master bedroom in the garage and then we'll show you what I'm doing outside and some of the cool stuff I've got going on even down in Las Vegas. I honestly don't know how many of you will even find this interesting. It's like snooping through my house, but I've been doing YouTube for so long now. I thought you guys would be interested in what my new place looks like. So here's my master bedroom. So cool. I actually love hanging out in here. I've got all of my keepsakes and memories on my bookshelf right here. And then this whole place is set up to be like a lounge apartment place so that I can come in here and just be here by myself and really enjoy it and feel like I'm home. And the house we just moved from, it was so big. It had a huge lawn, tons of sprinkler systems, tons of maintenance, and trying to go anywhere. It was like you're hiking up and down flights of stairs or going across the backyard out to the guest house. And I love 
this room, this space in the house is exactly why I ended up buying it because the value for what I got out here on an acre and a half was amazing. And if I can hold out while the community grows around it, I'm gonna do really well for myself. So this is my master bedroom. This is my big king size bed. This is my big lounge chair that I hang out in. I've got like uh, meditation stuff and office stuff over here. So sometimes I'll sit there and get creative. I've got a beaded curtain over here that goes into my office. I'll show you that in just a second. But check out all this cool stuff that I've got on my shelf. Let me show you. Everything here is from special memories. These were all made by hand by my kids in pottery class, including the plate that holds my sunglasses. I got this at a museum in Norway. This is uh, from my grandma's house and it actually has a note in it from my grandma. And then down here, I've got some stuff. This is where I just basically throw my wallet and my keys and all that stuff. That's a painting that I did, baby pictures of Luke and Gage. Another uh, little thing that I got from Norway. This is a handmade obsidian and antler uh, knife that my cousin actually handmade that's really cool. This is my actual original black belt when I did martial arts and karate. Um, another thing from the Viking Museum. This is me and my brother back when we used to compete in martial arts. When I had a brown belt and I think he had a blue belt at the time. Those are some of the trophies that we won. This is actually a dagger made from a marlin bill that I got in Hawaii. So this is made of bone and it's how uh, Polynesian people or Hawaiian people used to actually go hunting, they would take the bill off of a fish, this marlin, and turn it into a spear or a dagger. It's really cool. And then down there, I just have some uh, more pottery and books with pictures and stuff. Huh, Leela? You like it in here? You want to come and jump on my bed, huh? It's important to me that my environment, I'm completely surrounded by the stuff that brings me positivity, that gives me uh, happy memories, reminds me of all the reason that I'm doing things and helps me remember to be creative. But, oh yeah, do you guys wanna see? Here is one of my bathrooms. It's got a big jetted tub in here and a nice like mirror set up and then a whole walk-in closet back here to keep all my stuff step out here into the master bedroom and the layout is so awesome because I can come right back here through my beaded curtain and guess what there's a whole other closet right here that I can utilize that is amazing I keep film equipment and other gear in here as well as a second bathroom with dual showers check it out I've got one of these rain head showers plus a free uh, spray nozzle like that. It's so cool. And I get to shower every morning with this amazing view outside. And then right through here is my office. I know that the lighting is kind of crazy in here because this is where I do all my podcasting over on Carl Vibe. This is where I do all of my work and my editing. I should get like three monitors and screens and make it all crazy, but I'm just keeping it simple right now. I, this is my workstation. I have a stand-up desk that goes up and down and I can switch over to this big cushy office chair if I want. But most of the time I just stand here and get my work done until I'm tired and then sit down. But check out all this cool stuff. I have cool neon lighting in here, but I like to collect things like rocks and crystals, crystal skulls. This one I got from Norway as well. This one I actually got from Skinwalker Ranch. So that's pretty cool. And then I got this from Tibet. I've got paintings in here that I've done. And then just a whole bunch of decorations. Like this is a meteorite. This is a seashell that I took from an octopus when I was snorkeling. These are pictures of uh, Skinwalker Ranch that a friend of mine, Chris Bartell, he's a photographer and he took those and sent them to me. And I just have a whole bunch of really cool stuff, like an original Masters of the Universe Castle Gray Skull, still in the box. Uh, very cool, plus some collectible toys and things that my kids got me, some of my karate trophies, lunchbox that I got from Area 51. This is my dad's old army hat. This is my creative space where I come in here, I sit at my desk right here, I'm surrounded by all of my cool stuff to get in the zone. I burn incense, I do my editing, get all my ideas for videos, which is so convenient because I can come right out here and I know it's a little bit messy, but this is the workshop where I get everything done. 
it's still kind of disorganized out here and so bear with me but i just wanted to give you guys a showcase of what the property is like what my new life is like one of the things that i did was recently invest in a custom welding shop down in las vegas so it's infinity arcs custom welding and what they're going to be doing is he's helping me do custom rc car designs and builds plus a bunch of other cool stuff like slingshots rocket stoves and custom creations that we're coming up with it's going to be awesome Oh, it's such a mess out here right now. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but I've got all of my gear for going ghost hunting or looking for UFOs all in a mess right here. This is where I've been doing work on RC cars on this table. And then I've got this whole setup here where I store them and keep them. In fact, I'm getting ready to film another one next with uh, the Jimmy right here where we're gonna try and do an obstacle course. I wish I could park my truck in here, but as you can tell, I've got shells, I work from home, I do YouTube, I do RC cars, I try to run my business online myself and do it all solo, and so I gotta do it all here. So I wish I could park my truck in here, but instead I park my business in here and including my home gym because I live out in the country, too far to drive in to try and go to the gym, and so I put my own gym here at the house, I got my dumbbells, my bench, my punching bag, and I even put in uh, the floor mats here. You wanna go show them the backyard? She loves to come out here on the back patio and I still have to put some of it together. Um, I've got some solar lights here and a few things that are a little bit cluttered, but check out this amazing, nice back patio. I come out here now that the weather's nice and I do yoga with my yoga mat and hang out here and the hummingbirds come and feed at the hummingbird feeders. And I get to enjoy this incredible view of the Red Rock Mountains. And this is all part of Zion's National Park, right as my backyard. So I went from the big giant house in town by the freeway to living out in the country. There is a highway that goes along here. Uh, you can kind of hear some of the cars, but honestly, it's so much quieter. Out here in the country, it's so nice and the view the neighbors are really nice and quiet. I even have the second back patio over here where I like to sit. That goes into my master bedroom. And I have an acre and a half here out on the property uh, that goes out to this horse barn. And I'm still trying to decide what I wanna do with the land, but I've come up with a few things. First things first is I actually am buying a couple of baby goats. And so I'm gonna be getting two goats to leave out here to keep the weeds down. Leela loves coming out here to run around. But I might do something with Airbnb where I actually get rental units and put out here in the back lot. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sorry about the breeze. It does get a little bit windy here, but I've got the, the main house here. Uh, so it's nothing big, nothing fancy. It's a money maker. I'm gonna try to get out of debt, live out here in peace and quiet in the country, start my life over. I'm gonna get my baby goats and let them run around and keep the weeds down. I've got a storage shed over here, but I'm also having fun trying to feed the crows and the ravens back here. Let me show you. But I actually have all of this acreage. It's an acre and a half. It goes all the way back here. And so underneath here, I've been coming out here and leaving some food and water for the ravens. And I just put some out here. It looks like they haven't been here yet today, but they have been coming and having a good time eating all this food. There's nothing really inside of this barn. It was just like a uh, hay shed for feeding the horses and stuff, but I might turn it into a little bit of an office space. And then out here have it so that people can pull up uh, with their cars to park and modify this whole back lot so that people come back here and can stay in tiny cabins and enjoy this view. And I can give them maps or take them around on tours and on hikes and all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll see. I'm also um, over on Galactivibe gonna be doing more gaming, maybe some solo video gameplay and stuff with Gage. Uh, and a lot of other cool projects. I'm also going up to the UFO Disclosure Symposium of Invernal, Utah. I'll put the links down in the description for that. Um, as well as, what else? I've got the welding company that I've invested in. Check out the links down below to go check out the Instagram page. It's a new startup. Uh, so let me know if you like these vlogs. Do you wanna do tours of the community? Do you wanna go on hikes with me? Do you wanna try out uh, places in Las Vegas? And it all. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Just hang out with me. I thought I would just do a vlog 
This is like revealing all my secrets. I don't think I've ever filmed and let you guys come into my bedroom like this before, this intimately, especially into my bathroom. And basically like you're here hanging out with me, but yeah, this is my life, this is my home. Welcome, I hope you guys subscribe, turn on notifications and are a part of it. And I live uh, right here in Southern Utah in a circle of really cool stuff to do. So let me know and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.